Okay, so welcome to part two of this video. I'm going to try to solve this um, while holding my iPad. So let's see how feasible that is, okay? So we already got our derived equations in our last video. We know what we want, which is our 2Na solid, our 2 sodium solids plus our 1 half O2 gas, all right? Turns into Na2O solid. Uh, but we want to find out the delta H of formation of this, okay? And the way we're going to do that is we're going to be basically working through each one of these uh, equations that we established originally in the other video, right? And we're going to be canceling things out and hopefully ending up with this and a certain amount of enthalpy, all right? So let's actually work this through. First thing I'm going to do is, all right, I'm actually going to take a look at this and I'm going to say, all right, which one of these uh, equations has my sodium oxide in it, in a solid form, okay? Because you always have to pay attention to the states, okay? Uh, well, the only one that has that is this one, right? Number six, okay? And I said this was a lattice energy, so I said that we started with solid Na2O, all right? And we broke it down into its constituent ions. And the way that it's written with this on the left, all right, we have positive, okay, over here, we have positive 2,608 kilojoules, right? But this is on the right, this is on the left. So, just like I flip these, you know, basically, just like I flip this to this side and this to this side, I'm going to flip the sign here, okay? So let me write this in, all right? So what I'm going to write in is I'm going to say, all right, we start off with um, 2Na plus in gaseous form. I'm going to add an oxygen, 2 minus, in a gaseous form. We're going to end up with an Na2 oxygen solid form. And keep in mind, we're going to be switching the sign here, right? So my enthalpy of this is not going to be positive 2,608, it's going to be negative 2,608 kilojoules, okay? Now, typically when we're dealing with this in Hess's Law, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to check that off and say we're not going to use that again, okay? But just for reference, I'm just going to put a number 6 here, just so I know that that's where this came from. So if I mess this up, okay, I can just go back and say, okay, well here was the original equation, here's what I had, okay? So... That's all nice and good. So I have this taken care of, but do I have either of these actually up here? No, I don't. They don't match at all. Choose one, work with it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this uh, this Na+, plus, okay, this, uh, this sodium cation, okay, and I have two of them in a gaseous form. Now, where here do I have a sodium in gaseous form? Or sorry, rather, where do I have a sodium cation in a gaseous form? Well, I have that here, okay? I have, you see it here. I've got my sodium uh, cation in gaseous form plus an electron, okay? But here it is on the left side. Here it is on the right side. What am I going to need to do here? Uh, well, actually, no. I, I'm, I'm looking at this completely wrong. Sorry. If I wanted to cancel this out from this side, okay, what I really want here is that I want, like, I don't want a cation first off, and I don't want a gas, right? Because I have a solid, and it's not, it's not an ion right up here, okay? So the only way I can cancel this out is by having something similar in the products, okay? Here it is in the reactants, and whatever next step, I need to have it in the products. Now here, you can see that I have my Na plus in the products, okay? And even though I have, you know, an electron here and an Na gas here, let's just pay attention to this being in the products. First thing that you should be asking is, okay, we've taken care of that. We have an anion, it's, in, it's a gas, or, or sorry, we have a cation in a gaseous form, and it's sodium, okay, just like this. But what's different is that I have two of them here, right? I only have one here, okay? So let me write this in just as it is up here, and then we'll alter it a little bit, okay? So here I go, I have my sodium gas, okay? that's going to turn into a sodium plus ion in a gaseous form plus an electron, okay? I'm not going to write in the enthalpy yet, okay? But you see I have two here. That means I need to have two here in order to completely cancel that out. But you can't just put a two here. You need to actually put a two in front of everything, right? Because what you're doing is you're multiplying this whole thing by two. All right, let's, so let's distribute that two over. So we have two sodium gases, we have two sodium cations, and we have two electrons here. Likewise, we see up here that we have a certain amount of enthalpy for this reaction, but this is only for half of what we've written here, right? Because we have a two coefficient here. So that means we need to carry off that two here as well. So it's not going to be 496 kilojoules. It's going to be 900 and 92 kilojoules down here, okay? We're just multiplying everything by two, all right? Uh, and I'm just gonna put my little check mark here, and I'm gonna put down the fact that that was number three, okay? So, 
Now I could start crossing things out. I can cross this out, right? Because I have the same term down here, and that well, that's that's all I can really cross out, isn't it? Okay. Now, so I have my two Na gas here. Do I want Na gas? No, I want Na solid. I want it in a solid form. So where do we have something with both the solid and a gas up here? Well, we have that in our first one, right? When we said that this is sublimating into a gas, all right? Uh, that the delta H of formation of the formation of gas from its basic elemental form, which is in a solid, is this, and this is the certain amount of energy. Do we need to alter it really to put it here? Uh, unfortunately, we do, right? We have two Na gases here. We only have one Na gas here. Likewise, this one's going to be in the reactants. This is in the product, so I need them to cancel out, right? So I actually don't need to flip this around because this is already in the products. That's in the reactants. So that's nice and good. So let me multiply everything in this expression by two so we can cancel that two Na, okay? So here I go. I've got two Na solid. That's then going to turn into two Na gas, okay? Now, you guys can pretty much tell what I'm going to do here. I multiplied these by 2 here. I need to multiply the enthalpy by 2 as well. I'm going to get that the enthalpy is equal to 214 kilojoules. Okay, so 214 kilojoules. Okay, so we're doing a running count here. Let's cross things out. So you can see that I have similar terms of both my reactants and my products, of these two at least. Boom, boom, done. Okay, I've now ended up with an Na solid just like I wanted